80 million tourists visited the United States in 2019. One in eight went to Hawaii. How do I describe Hawaii? The world's best kept secret for sure. I think we get a good disperse of information when it comes to the education and history of the journey of um, how we got from then to now. I find it really interesting that at one point hula was banned uh, because when we think of Hawaii, what is not the first thing that we think about then you know, hula dancing in itself. Um, I think this is, of course, relevant for us to realize and take in this information and have these types of conversations. I think it's important to have lands of acknowledgments and um, knowing that Hawaii in itself was um, overtaken by a land of people. And it was really interesting to hear the story about how in their culture, they actually did not really believe in the act of um, owning land in itself. So the fact that they were kind of overtaken and finds it even relevant to people such as like Mark Zuckerberg trying to, you know, buy and take their land and rather than giving it back to the people, I think, um, is really eye-opening in having reparations um, for those who have been harmed in the process of taking over certain spaces and controlling them. Hawaiian culture and, and history isn't talked about uh, enough in the United States, um, especially after what we did to Hawaii and Hawaiians, Native Hawaiians. Um, so this is an incredibly informative piece and it acknowledges that. And I think that's really great, but it also shows this, uh, really vibrant culture full of tradition and this really rich history that, uh, was almost stripped away, uh, through these takeovers of Hawaii. Um, there's a real sense of pride throughout this piece, uh, narratively and, you know, visually. And I really want to commend you for making a really well-rounded, um, just, gorgeous piece eye-opening there were there's uh, i mean i was ignorant so much about this about hawaii so i was just delighted to learn about um some of the some of the 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 numbers uh that are represented here are just staggering like 10 percent of the population being homeless i had no idea i'll be perfectly honest I've never been to hawaii so um it was just again really eye-opening to see uh, from people on the ground there the locals uh, what it's really like it's definitely a peek behind the curtain um and just so brilliantly done uh the uh overall just the structure of the piece is fantastic uh good pace um you know we hear from a variety of voices and um everyone's got something just something compelling about them or their story uh that just sort of ties everything all together and just makes this a uh, beautiful informative and unifying message about uh, Hawaii that I think more people really ought to be aware of because um, yeah startling stuff going on there um, I don't know if I remembered or wasn't aware of the whole 700 acres with Zuckerberg so um, that was just a, a really uh, a good point to sort of lean into a little bit as they did to uh, give it gives you an idea early on of you know what what the magnitude of um, the situation is there as far as land and its value um, with, you know, 49 million being spent in tourism. Um. As someone who is unfamiliar with Hawaii and its history to a really big extent, this documentary does an amazing job of covering it, introducing us through what we might know through stereotypes, and really diving into what some of the lesser known issues might be in a really wholesome way, talking and focusing on the solutions. It's a really heartwarming, really inspiring and beautiful documentary, and it really manages to capture the beauty of the place and the people um, that goes beyond what the tourism messaging is. This is, they have very engaging visuals to showcase the work of restoring and sustaining original Kanaka culture and traditions in a modernized Hawaii that 
doesn't seem to align with the original traditions and it's getting people mad at that. They have these beautiful drone shots, commanding testimonials and a um, huge scandal I didn't know anything about uh, with Facebook CEOs and farm sorry, land in this beautiful country. Um, indeed, this land and its people were decimated on an incessant craving for power and evangelization efforts and then modern colonizers just use other techniques to stole and claim land as their own. It's just a very surprising story to see that it keeps happening and I just applaud the team involved in this film and in in spreading the word of Kaina's work in the community and everyone around this um, association supporting their efforts and reclaiming their land. I love that even though this documentary is so short, it actually covered everything from the land grabs to the native Hawaiians and what their culture is. It's one of the reasons I want to visit Hawaii is to see what the culture really is like. I mean, that's part of traveling. A lot of people want to just go to the beaches and the tourist destinations, but that is something that people forget. It's part of the culture is what makes places intriguing. This documentary really did go into depth about what was lost, and it went into the history. It went into the depth of everything with how short it was. You kind of forget that it's just only 15 minutes long because it covered the history of the people and how only 5% of the people still speak the language and how it's um, and how they're trying to get their culture back and they're fighting for it. I've never been to Hawaii, so I enjoyed seeing the gorgeous footage of water and land. I was also impressed by the Kanaka pride. It was eye-opening to hear about the history of Hawaii, including seeing many black and white photos and drawings. Anger was displayed about the unjust takeovers that have occurred. I was glad to see the work being done to expose the young to their heritage, traditions, and language. Well done, memorable film. Mm -hmm.